All right, so this morning our topic is our musculoskeletal system that we are studying on our body, our whole skeletal system. This is basic because we are in medical assisting. All right, so before we start, I do have handouts and I would like each of you to separate that and please take a pack. And over in this side, please take a pack and this will show you your uh, spinal nerves, all right? And over there, there are some bone structures there. All right. So today's lecture is on our skeleton system. And as soon as you've passed out your papers, we will go over with your projects that you've also worked on last week. All right. This morning, what we want to talk about is we have a skeleton here by the name of George. I'm going to use George today. We also have our skeleton here primarily for the ribs and the heart inside and our other skeleton that we call Magoo in our classroom here. All right. With what we are, what we're planning on doing today is to talk about the skeletal system, what it is comprised of, what's inside of it, basic and basic points on the body system. Also, we are going to be able to identify by playing our Jeopardy game this morning that the students put together and they are will be gathering points for this as well. Medical assisting class is very hands-on, so let's get started. All right, are we ready? Does everybody have a packet? Okay. Right here we have the skeletal system. We see the skull. Inside the skull is the brain. Here we have where our eyes would be, as you can see here, and these are ossicles. This is our jaw and this U-shape right here that we see that you also have a picture of is a hyoid, H-Y-O-I-D, and it comprises of the mandibular. So the only part on your face that opens if you all would do that is just the bottom part. This part doesn't open. All right. This has been fused together. So at birth when you're born, we're born with different bones in the body. We're born with 206 bones as an adult we have eventually, but we're born with actually 300. But bones do fuse together. So what happens, our skull comes together. We have the man mandible. We have our rib cage. We have arms. We have the bottom portion and we have our legs. So we're going to go into that. We can see our spine. We have a spinal. We have a spinal cord that comes here. We classify this as our shoulder blade, but we also have another name for that. Who can tell me the name of this right here? What would we call this that we have studied? The clavicle. The clavicle, yes, the clavicle. So this is the clavicle. Everyone fill your clavicle, come across. Well, what's interesting is come right into the center of it. As you go down the center, you're going to feel like a straight portion and what can you tell me that this is called right here that we study? Sternum. sternum, absolutely. So we have clavicle, which is attached to the sternum. All right, we can feel that. Our head sits on what? How does, what does our head sit on? The axis, which is our atlas, correct? So our head, and I would like you to see what is on here. Take a peek. Mine's in color. What happens is your head sits on this axis. Without the axis, our head would not be able to move. Without the axis, we wouldn't be able to move our joints as well. So because of that, we're very lucky to be able to, so everybody looks straight. Let's everyone look to the right. Everyone look to the left. Look to the front, put your head down and bring your head back. All right, without having that, we wouldn't be able to have any movement. Now our heads do not go around, all right, just because we have an atlas and an axle, all right, axle. So at this time, what I would like to do is you have all worked so wonderful on your projects. I put you in teams, and now it's your time with all the paperwork that you have, everything that you've been studying, and in your book as well, and answering, is the time that we will play Jeopardy. And we have devised here questions and points. So I will need another medical assistant to come up to also help. And that means 
because when you get this, we're going to take the point and take it off the board and keep that, all right? So if you've guessed, column three, 10 points, and you've guessed it, you're gonna take this off and take that back to you until this board is cleared off, all right? This is a great way for you to gather your points. It's a physical way, it's an understanding as well, and it's also hands-on. So what I'd like to do is we have our arrows up here, and captains of your teams, would you stand for a moment? Let me see who are the captains of the team. Vera, Svetlana, all right, Larita, Seema, Donna, and Lisa. Okay, are all captains of the team. Okay, all right, are you ready? Captains. So if I pick team number three, all right, team number three, who in your, who in your team Wants to play Jeopardy, come on down. Who's gonna play? Who's gonna play Donna Pick? <laughs> All right, come on down. Marisol, come on down. Okay, pick a column, tell me what point you want. Column number four. Column number four. For 20 points. For 20 points. All right. Marisol, are you ready? All right, you think, okay. <laughs> One of the most famous Shakira songs, fill in the blank, blank, don't lie. Hips. Hips is the answer. <laughs> because she sings about, okay, take your 20 points. I didn't know that one. <laughs> Her hips, I didn't know that. All right, okay. Now you're going to find where we have this on our body. Okay, Marisol, what are you looking for? Tell us. Does the hips. The hips. Okay, where's the hips? Right. Very good. Seema, who in your group? Ben. Um, column four for 70. All right, dang, column four for 70. How many bones are in the vertebrae column for an adult? For an adult. She says 26. We studied that, 26, good job. All right, you're all doing your homework. 26, 26, very good, all right. Nice. All right, now where would that be? Look at that, very good. Lorita. 1 for 40. Larita, what is the name of the largest and strongest bone in the face? Ah, she says, mandibular. Come on and get your 40 points. So where, and come show us where the mandibular is. So if we have the mandible, mandibular, and there's a U that shapes in there. What is that you called? Who's the first one that can answer with your hand raised? First one, I gave the lecture this morning on the U. It's a U. And it kind of is freely there. What is it called? And I'll give you 50 points for that. The, but don't answer out loud. You've got to raise your hand. You've got to raise your hand. I gave the lecture on it. Latasha. Was it the owner? No, no. The, no. no. <laughs> no. Look. Hyoid, H-Y-O-I-D, yes, you get 50 points, write that down. All right, very good. This is more or less an easy way to learn about the bones in your body because of the team work that you did and the participation that all of you have done. For me, it works, it works for you, and uh, you have beautiful points, you've done an excellent job, and uh, everyone give yourself a hand because you deserve it, you really do deserve it. Next project that will go along with this uh, musculoskeletal system Jeopardy is a crossword puzzle. So what I'd like you to do is to get a partner and sit across from your partner. You can sit side by side. It's a crossword puzzle. I'm going to give both of you one and it's called Body Landmarks and I would like for you to complete this now and so if you could take this and pass those along, make sure that you have a partner that you're going to be able to sit next to or 
across from, and I would like you to work as a team. So we have phalanges, and you do one down, fingers and toes, phalanges. See here. But how many letters is on the paper? Phalanges. It's six, seven, so that's too many. Because you got metacarpals, we got the carpals. Carpals. So. Does it fit? No. no, but it's, I can say patellas. Okay, so let's look at it again. Music, uh, let's try to get, well, all right, so if we have cervical going across, uh -huh. what would fit, let's do 15 oh, down 15 first. 15 first, okay. Yeah. Look at 15. Busacrum. Okay, go ahead, oh, very, very good. Yep. Area between the hips. Mm -hmm. Text down, there's um, lumbar. Occipital? B A R. L U M B A R. Yeah, lumbar. Yes. So let's, we can refer. Look at that. It's not phalanges, it's not. It's a cross, it should be a cross. Very nice. Very nice.